hear this. You are not alone. This is the Resistance. What's up, everyone? This is the Tin Man with the Resistance here on the line with our very own John Connor up there in New Brunswick. Okay, Connor, what the hell's going on up there, bro? Oh, dude, shit just got serious, like, seriously quick, man. I'm not even joking. Like, as soon as I heard what was going on, you know, I, I do what I do. Like, if this was happening in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Lebanon, United States, uh, Great Britain, it didn't matter. We always do this, right? We look into it. But right now, this is quite legitimately in my backyard, and, and that's, I'm not, that's not an understatement, right? Uh, so a young man by the name of Justin Bork, as to those of you who want to follow along, uh, go ahead and uh, look him up on Facebook and uh, see how you feel about what you see in his Facebook. Now, if anybody of you have already, <coughs> excuse me, have already seen what I've seen, you've noticed that he's, uh, his posts and so on and so forth are a whole lot like ours. So uh, we don't know exactly what set him off. Um, I, I don't know him personally. I've never met him personally. Um, I've currently sent him a friend week request, hoping that he may have had a cell phone on him. I'm curious as to what's going down, you know? Like, it's, he, the guy, he's got an anonymous representation on his Facebook. Um, in here I have uh, a nice little poem or lyrics. I, I was told it was from Megadeth. I was also told that it was the... Uh, plot for Purge, uh, a great many of uh, theories have gathered up around that, uh, but when you really go through um, his Facebook wall, it's a very uh, Worldwide Resistance Network um, feel to it, so I can, I hear the plight that he's doing, he's going uh, anti-New World Order direction, uh, but it's, he's in my city where I live, and quite literally all of five streets away from where I live and about is where the last sightings that the, the choppers are still going. This all started a completely different part in the city, uh, far more, uh, well, I can't even say far more populated because the way this moved is very interesting, and the information that I've picked up uh, has given me a very interesting uh, viewpoint. For instance, um, we know now that there's three dead police officers and two that are only injured non-fatally. Okay. Um, yeah, I've been also, hearing seven. What? I've been hearing seven police officers. Yes, that was the first thing that I got, too. But from what I understand, we're talking seven body counts, perhaps, at this point. But uh, the only <coughs> official reports that I've been finding, which was um, the uh, emergency medical services, uh, when they were talking, they were confirming. And this is the, the EMS. These are the people that I'm looking into to get my confirmations from as much as I can. Uh, there is a somewhat of <coughs> excuse me, a media blackout happening right now. Uh, and for all of those that are in, you know, the city, I'm sure they understand why. Uh, this started at about 7.30, 8 o'clock. My time is currently 1 a.m. my time. Uh, he's been out there. He is still at large. Uh, you know, it's a very, very serious situation. Uh, and the RCMP are blaming it on uh, the uh, social media. The, when those were seeing, people were seeing where the cops were setting up barricades, they started tweeting where the cops were. Really helped them out. We've always talked about things like this. You have a weapons ban, you can't shoot a gun. Well, grab your keyboard. If you believe what he's doing is right, then do what you believe is right. If you believe that he's doing is wrong, use the exact same skill against them. It's really, really, really up to one individual as to how they believe, not what I want to say. All I know is I've never met him, never seen him, and he's very close by. And uh, the police are now, like, entertaining, allowing the military to step in, or the military is now entertaining that it wants to step in. I don't have full details about that yet. Uh, it's it, it's crazy over here, dude. Uh, the, there's a lot of um, uh, citizens of the city that are asleep to what's going on in the New World Order and things like that, so they're going to look at his Facebook wall, and they're going to believe that he's an absolute, you know, nut. This, Wait. this isn't going to be good. Like, this isn't going to play well. And no, I, if I was him, if it was me, I'm looking at this and I'm paying attention to like, well, he's never going to get out of there. Like, what's he doing? And I, I, I have an honest feeling that this is a last stand kind of situation. He has no intentions of coming out alive. And that's what it looks like. And, it's, and he's not just a massacre. Other informations have come, like when they were tracking him and as to, as to where he was and things of this nature, uh, some of the information I've received said that he was has entered places like Walmart parking lots, crowded areas. He chose not to open fire. So he, is, is he only the attacking cops. the police? Yeah, he's, oh, he's from what I can see, 
And I, and I also have <clears throat> information that apparently a civilian has been hit or, or, or unfortunately has been killed. But I, from what I'm noticing, the civilians are not the target. Although the RCMP are saying everybody stay in your homes, right now he's probably getting ready to jack a house. Hey, let's not lie, it's not very warm out there at this exact moment. It's a beautiful warm day today, but when the, when the sun goes down, it's still a little bit cool there. Uh, so he may, he, he may want to try and jack a house for cover, uh, for any reasons, altering his, uh, his, his persona as to how he looks, <clears throat> things like this. I don't know what his moves are going to be. All I know is that <laughs> I feel bad for my country right now because it's been how many hours now? Eight almost about five hours of this like one man like it's a very disgusting joke but the entire east coast police force and a fraction or a section of the canadian military is chasing one man in one of the smallest provinces in this country and he's still at large that is insane now i got a question for you yeah you're seeing all this in the news is your country's media speculating as to what brought this about or have they even interviewed anybody from his family or his friends to give any insight to this man? The, uh, from what I understand so far <laughs> is the dead police officers, the manhunt still underway, still looking for him. Uh, I can almost guarantee that there'll be interviews or something <laughs> of sorts come the morning news. Right now, nobody is sleeping in this city right now. Right, right now, totally. they have all become John Connor. They are pulling every resource they have ever had, every infer, um, every information person that they've got, informants in the case of the police, sources in the case of the media, um, people like us, the activists. We're networking together because all we want is the truth. We don't want to see this get covered up and get brushed under like it's just another conspiracy coup. I want to know what happened. I want to know why he targeted the police, you know, if he was really ready to go to war like that. And, and quite literally, why didn't he, you know, put a few more people together? Why didn't he take a little bit more time? Why didn't he go after a far better target? That's a good question, and I, I want to bring something up here. You remember last year when I was contacted by that, quote, Illuminati terrorist recruiter? Yep. We know this is a common practice, whether it be actual terrorist organizations or the globalist elite agenda but nevertheless people are being contacted to carry out heinous crimes like this on behalf of the globalist agenda is oh, yes. is it in, at all possible that this person may have in fact been gotten to and is executing this action on their behalf to perhaps discredit the activist community? Dare I say even label them as a terrorist group as a whole? Well, this is, that's, a, that's a very interesting uh, thought, but I also have to take into consideration, right? Now, what we're talking and what we're, we would be referring to here is we're talking like Project MK Ultra. We're talking some of the biggest psychosis and psychiatric studies that the continent has ever seen. Now, there is a rule of thumb in this world. The most rational and reasonable is most often true. Uh, it just If it's not too hard to get there and nobody's really de defe defeating it, uh, there's a chance that it's true. So what I'm bringing here is what is easier for me to believe? Did this person actually get... Because MKUltra is not just the person that's brainwashed. We're talking people, kids are taken, right? And yes. really put together. So did he suffer something like this or... Did he wake up on the wrong side of the awakening? Because we cannot lie to each other if we were to say that he is not doing anything that we disagree with. I, unfortunately, am looking at every police brutality video that I've seen ever since I've started looking into this information. And yeah. they wonder why they get shot at. And if you want little pieces of interesting information... There was a young man that was murdered in cold blood last year at the Coliseum, which is, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to have to do a little bit more fact-checking. This is still, all the facts are still not even released yet. I'm still looking into a lot of this stuff, personal accounts from people that I know and, and what's going on. And yes. 
if this is a retaliatory strike to that event from last year, because that's a pretty violent event that took place last year of police brutality, quite literally, in the city that the event has taken place in. So, so that's the truth. So, and that just for just for the record here, so everybody knows, what we were yeah. talking about is n- not necessarily what this person is doing or what this person is thinking. We are pr- merely speculating. We're purely <laughs> speculating according to the information we've managed to gather up thus far. 